This is a short PowerPoint found in Project Lead the Way under Canvas. You can download it. I also probably gave you a handout summarizing how to cite sources. First of all, you need to know why you document sources. Key here is the three R's, reliability, recognition, and repeatability. You want to be able to repeat and allow someone else to look up the same site that you went to. You need to make sure it's reliable, and you need to give recognition to the author. Reliability, if you notice that some websites are .com, .gov, .edu, .net, those all stand for something, and .coms are not very reliable. They're community pages that anyone can create. Stay away from .coms for this assignment. Um, look at more like .edu for education or .gov or .net for network. Those are more reliable. Again, know what APA stands for, American Psychological Association. And then know where you're going to list your sources. Depending if you're writing a paper or a lab report or doing a career journal, they'll appear in different places. The two main places are within the report, in text citations, right after you're done writing a sentence um, that's pretty close to something that you looked up, or at the very end in a works cited page. On our career journals, they're that last little column that I showed you that you're going to put them in. Make sure you know how to do in-text citations. There's a format for those. Usually it's parentheses with the author's last name and the year published. It looks something like this, Farrell, 2017. Sorry, 2007. Notice that the period is after the parentheses, not before. Here's another example. Instead of an author, Farrell, you have a publisher or a department that put on the information. So the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, 2006. So there's two examples, one with an author, one from an organization. When it's time to write your citations at the end of the document, you need to make sure you follow these recommendations. If you have more than one source, which for career journals you need at least two, make sure that you would list them alphabetically by the author or the publisher. So if you've got Alexander as an author and the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics as an author, Alexander is A, will go before the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Single space the entry and double space between Alexander and U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Make sure you check your punctuation capitalization. Here's an example of two authors in alphabetical order. Granathan comes before Smith. Also notice that APA format doesn't ask you to write out the author's first name, just the initials and if there's a middle initial as well. Here's another example without an author. So this is a web page. Most of you guys are going to be looking up your information for career journals on the web. And if you can't find an author, then you go to the publisher or you go to the name of the web page. So in this example, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services was the name of the page that you found the information in. Managing asthma was the name of the article you looked up. And then retrieved from, you've got the website that you actually used. So this is the handout that I most likely handed out in class. It just is a little front to back, what needs to go in a citation. You're going to look for the author's last name, you're going to place a comma, and then the first initial. If there's not an author, go to the publisher or the name of the web page that put on the information. Immediately following the author is the date that the article or the web page was last updated or published, in parentheses, another period. The name of the article is also capitalized with a period. The publisher is what you're going to put italicized. Sometimes the author and the publisher are the same person, depending on where you're looking when it comes to the website. Following the publisher is a period along with the words retrieved from. Every citation needs to have the words retrieved from, capital R, lowercase f, and then the website following it. The website should not be a hyperlink, so you can always right click on the website and go into the format and remove the hyperlink. Another thing to pay attention to is that the hanging indent. And hanging indent is different than indenting before you begin a sentence. Most people have been taught when you start a paragraph to indent and start your paragraph inward. For citations, it's the opposite. You don't indent the first line, but you indent everything else under it. Sometimes you have to hit the enter key after the end of your sentence in order to allow it to indent the second page, or the second line. So that's what it means when it says when you start another line, the second line plus any other lines, make sure you indent each one. Here's an example of a website you might commonly use this year. It's from the United States Department of Labor. Um, the article that I looked up to use this example was EMTs and paramedics. I wanted to see what EMTs and paramedics job was like, what they got paid. And so I looked at the bottom of that page. I'm going to show you the page here. 
to find the date. If you look at the page, at the top it says United States Department of Labor. That's the publisher or the name of the website. Then if you look at the name of the article, it's EMTs and Paramedics. So where did I find the date? I scrolled down to the bottom, bottom and it says Publish Date, Thursday, December 17, 2015. Sometimes you'll find it at the very bottom. If you cannot find a date, then just use the current year that you're in as your date. The next information I needed to find was information about the website. Copy the entire hyperlink, not just the first part, and paste that as well. And that's how I found my citation. So notice again, Bureau of Labor and Statistics is italicized because that's the publisher. Whereas United States of Department of Labor, that was the author, so to speak. And you can see my hyperlink there as well. Here are some sites you can use this year to work on career journals in addition to anything else you find helpful. The DOL.gov is the one we were just on. There's also careers.org, careersonestop.org, intro into careers.org. Notice orgs are way better. Govs, I don't have a .com on here. Now, if you need some information of how to do citations and you still are confused, you can go to Purdue Owl. That is um, a college that has a resource page, and it will allow you to look up anything that you need to know about how to cite your sources.